Okay, so not only is the grass green and like super thick and you can tell uh, kind of where I walked through here um, these things sticking up that have the buds on them are gonna make this completely impassable here eventually um, but check out what I found the red buds are out and uh, it is just amazing out here I, I've painted this uh, I painted these trees right here before um, when the ground was completely covered with snow and it was laying thick up in here. And uh, if I can find that uh, photo, I'll actually reference that. Uh, just for perspective. But anyway, I gotta paint the red bud. I mean, looking around me, there's, uh, there's, there's lots to paint. Uh, I was actually looking for a vista today, but after seeing this, I'm in. All right, I'll get set up and uh, we'll get going here. All right, uh, I had a question about uh, about my setup here, so I will just take a moment to uh, to run through that. Um, I use a uh, a lightweight uh, ProMaster um, tripod for uh, my camera, obviously, um, for. Uh, for my paint box, which is an EZL Classic, which I love, by the way, um, I use a uh, SunPack Ultra Pro. It's lightweight, and uh, one thing that's really cool about this is that this uh, um, if you release this a little bit, this actually comes out further, which allows you to uh, spread, the, spread the legs on this really wide. Um, and then I'll get under here and show this real quick. I use this per gear, per gear head that, uh, that I purchased to replace the head that came on the sun pack. And it's really cool because, uh, this adjustment right here, you just turn this and you can put this, uh, ball wherever you want. And the other thing I really, oh, the other thing I really like about that head specifically is, um, um, it's really strong, so you don't have to like really wrench on it to get that uh, get that ball to really grip. So um, anyway, that's uh, that's my setup. So um, hope that helps.
All right, so um, what I've got going on uh, here at the moment is uh, I have a bit of a mess right in here. This this distant tree line is actually quite warm, uh, and I've got this really cool gray color in here, almost a it's almost a violet that uh, I think I need to warm that up and kind of feed that into some of these, uh, pull out some of these negative spaces in here. Then I can go back over with a smaller brush and, and, and sort of define some of these edges uh, that are in here. So I'll get, uh, I'll get that figured out and, uh, and then I think I'll be in a, in a good position to move forward. So um, but right now it's kind of uh, kind of bothering me a little bit, and these uh, these are a little cool as well. I, I need to warm up uh, warm up these branches because uh, I don't know they're just really red uh, at the moment. So I'll get kind of a greenish gray um, color going, and uh, I'll lay some of that in here as well at the same time while I'm kind of getting rid of some of this really cool cool gray back here all right so let's uh let's rock this out <laughs> All right, so that's it for me today. And uh, as always, thanks for checking out my video. Um, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, share it with uh, somebody if you like it. And I will catch you later.